So the traditional way to round over the end of a piece of stock would be to use a uh, chamfering bit, do a 45 degree bevel, and then come in with a file, and file it down, then switch to fine, say, 400 grit sandpaper, and finally uh, Scotch-Brite. And that yields a nice result. So I thought, huh, maybe I could use one of my router bits, like I'd suggested that one could use routers bits in the milling machine earlier um, for mount rounding over edges of things. So I thought, hmm, how could I mount this onto the lathe so that it could be securely held in one position, not turning, of course, as a, just a shaping tool. And then I realized, huh, my boring bar has a half inch hole in it with a collar for all the other bits here. So, hmm, okay, let's see, does this fit in here? Well, yes, it does. How about that? So I can just tighten that down in there, get it nice and lined up, perfectly parallel. This is a bit of an angle there, but that's fine. If I were to spin up the lathe to a very high speed to match the kind of RPMs that would, this would see when it's encountering wood or metal, I think I might be onto something here. So, um, you know, I have quite a set, because I'm a woodworker, of uh, bits. So those and then another larger one here, I'd be a little concerned about using that larger radius, but these are all half-inch bits. Router bits come in uh, half-inch diameter and quarter-inch. That's the only two shaft sizes you'll see for woodworking router bits. And the carbide sets like this are relatively inexpensive. This set um, with these four was probably about 40 bucks for the set, something like that. Uh, CarbTech is one of the, the fairly good, reputable brands, I guess. very slowly because I really don't know what kind of speeds and feeds to use here. Yeah, now I'm getting screaming, so I'm going to use some WD-40, of course. Let's see if that's going to help a little bit. I'm using a high speed because that's what these cutters are designed for, at least that's my theory. I'm going to pause to clear chips and just see how this is all looking. Yeah, let's see if it gets a stiffer brush in there. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite to bottom yet. I think I've got to shift around a little bit. This is looking very promising. I am liking the look of that. Let me just take the carriage out of the way. That's a pretty decent hemisphere, I think. So a little clean up with the file and some emery paper. Let's see how this looks. So I definitely consider this a promising use of router roundover bits and possibly other cutter shapes. This is uh, silicon carbide, of course, as would be the uh, boring bar here, and uh, you know, that's a pretty decent shape. If I hadn't left a divot in there from this scrap, it would have been a nice perfect uh, radius there. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this result. <laughs>